All right, this quick video is going to be setting up the iPhone 16e. So let's go ahead and get started. Setting up the 16e for the first time, you're gonna be greeted with this little welcome screen here. Pretty much the same as what you'd find on basically any other iPhone when you set it up new. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we wanna swipe up. And what we're greeted with first is to select our language. So you can select whatever language you would like from here. In my case, it's gonna be English. <clears throat> and then you get to select your country and or region. Uh, so you have a huge list of different countries to choose from, from wherever you reside. Um, in my case is United States. And then from here, we can now change the appearance. So we can have default, we can have medium or large. Basically what this is doing is changing the overall zoom and or size of text and overall uh, size of uh, various UI elements. If you're someone that has slight issues with seeing and you want to have your text and things a little bit larger, you can do that from here. So let's go ahead and continue. Quick start, so this is where you can quickly bypass a lot of these settings or setups um, within this menu if you wanna just quickly get going with your phone or if you want to transfer from an older phone or your current phone to this one, uh, you can do that from this menu. Um, however, uh, we're gonna be setting up without a device because that is not what we're doing here. From here, we can also then connect to our Wi-Fi network. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we are now joining the network. And when it's connected, you'll see a little blue check mark. There we go, so it's good. And then now it's gonna go to proceed with activating the phone. Sometimes this process can actually be uh, lengthy, uh, depending on how many people are trying to activate a phone or the 16E or whatever at any given time. Sometimes that process can fail, uh, but obviously in this case, thankfully it did not. Uh, and then we're just having a little bit of a data and privacy notice uh, to show you a little bit of how uh, Apple uses your private data and things like that. If you want to learn more, you can hit learn more, obviously, but we don't need to do that for now. Hit continue. And so here we have the ability to set up your phone for either your child, if you have purchased this phone for your child or yourself. So if you do your child, uh, you can set it up and put some restrictions and things like that if you want to do that. Uh, which is actually pretty handy. Uh, but again, in this case, obviously we're not doing that. We're just setting up for ourselves. So hit that. Face ID. This is where you can set up face ID. So if we hit continue, uh, it'll run you through the setup process for turning on and activating face ID. Um, so you can do that from there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and set it up later. And then we have the option of a passcode. Uh, which is always a recommended thing to do uh, just to keep your phone more secure and keep hackers and other people from trying to steal your data. But in my case, since this phone is just for demonstrational purposes, we're just going to not use a passcode. So do not use. And then we go now to this screen of transferring your data. So this is where you can either set the phone up as a new phone, which is what we'll be doing here. Or if you're coming from a different phone, you can restore uh, your backup from either iCloud or your Mac or PC. Or if you're switching from Android, you can even transfer your data from your Android phone over to the iPhone straight from this menu as well. So that's pretty cool. So in this case, we're just going to do not transfer anything since we're not uh, having another phone to transfer data from. Uh, then here is your Apple account setting. Uh, this is where you'd obviously enter your Apple ID. Um, in this case, we're not going to be doing that. Um, so we're going to hit don't have an account for now, and you're going to set up in later in settings, don't use, <clears throat> and then we have to agree to the terms and conditions. Now, if you don't do this or you hit disagree, it will not let you use the iPhone. So if there's something within this terms and conditions that you don't agree with or like, basically Apple will say, sorry, you can't use the iPhone. So you have basically no choice but to agree to this, um, contract type of thing to be able to use the phone. Uh, and then we have update the iPhone automatically. So you can either only download automatically or if we hit continue, it'll turn on auto update, uh, which means it'll just download and install updates by itself uh, each time you have it plugged in and it'll run overnight. In this case, that's okay. So we'll hit continue. 
iMessage and FaceTime, so you can activate and enable that. But since this phone is not going to have any phone number attached to it for now, uh, we're not going to do that. Location services, so we can turn that on. That's always helpful. And then set up cellular. So this is where cellular will be come into play. Um, if you're going to be, of course, transferring from your current phone and you want to move your number over to this one, you can do that from here. So you can either transfer from a nearby iPhone or use a QR code to do that. Um, again, this phone will not have a number, so we're setting up later. So we're skipping it. Screen time. We all know what screen time is. It just gives you some metrics of how you're using your phone on a daily basis. Go ahead and hit continue. iPhone analytics. Uh, this is basically just where you're giving authorization to Apple to send basically telemetry data uh, to Apple effectively uh, to learn not necessarily how you use the phone, but... If the phone crashes or has a problem, it will send that analytic data to Apple to help them improve the software. Um, but in my case, I actually don't like my data being just randomly sent to a company or any anyone for that matter. So I typically don't share, but if you are okay with that, you can hit share and it'd be turning that on. So don't share. Then we have light or dark display. So this is where you have light mode, dark mode, or auto. So if you do light, obviously it's light. Dark goes into dark mode, which is kind of my preferred preference. It's easier on the eye. And then auto will just kind of toggle it between uh, it, sunset and sunrise. So the time of day will determine whether you're in light or dark mode. Uh, in this case, we're going to leave it light for now. Continue. Okay, and then now we're talking about Apple Intelligence. Now, one thing to note is Apple Intelligence with this version of iOS, pretty much since iOS 18.3, um, Apple turns Apple Intelligence on by default. So you don't get to have a choice whether it is turned on or off when you get the phone. So by default, Apple Intelligence is turned on. So I will, after the setup process is complete here, I'll quickly go through and show you how to turn it off if you're someone that does not want Apple Intelligence to be turned on on your phone. Uh, but anyway, so this kind of just gives an oversight of what the Apple Intelligence is. Continue. And then this is now an advertisement for visual intelligence, which is another part of Apple's AI. And basically what that is, is it's a way to search things around you uh, using the camera. So if you find something interesting, say you want to take a picture of a flower or something, and you want to know what type of a flower that is, you can have the visual intelligence search either Google and give you search results for it, or you can ask the chat GPT integration to tell you what that particular flower is. So that's something that's cool. Now, because this phone does not have the camera control that the 16 and 16 Pro phones have, um, this is letting you know that you can access visual intelligence via the control center. So by default, this little toggle will be in the control center. Uh, so... For quick access but you can also uh, map this toggle to the action button right here on the side so if you want to have the action button be the toggle for visual intelligence you can do that as well so let's go ahead and continue and straight away now we have the customizable options for the action button so we can go in here and it shows you by default it's mapped to mute mode but we can go ahead and customize, and you can change this to a bunch of different things. You have um, all kinds of stuff, mute mode, uh, focus, camera. Uh, there's that visual intelligence toggle that we were talking about. So you can go and map that and utilize that as well if you want. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it silent mode for now. Uh, then we have Siri, so you can turn on Hey Siri from here. Uh, so we're going to set up later in settings. Uh, and then we have descriptions about emergency SOS. Uh, just some details about that. Continue. And just like that, now we are welcome to iPhone. So let's swipe up. And there we go. We are now on the home screen. So that probably has got to be one of the longest setup screens for the iPhone that I've ever encountered. Uh, there are a lot of steps that you have to now go through when setting up a new phone. Um, it's not a bad thing because it lets you kind of get familiarized with some of the features of the phone uh, straight away. So it's it's actually okay with all those different screens that they uh, offer and provide there. Uh, but anyway, real quick, to, uh, before ending this video, um, 
like I said uh, just a little bit ago, Apple turns uh, the Apple Intelligence AI features on by default. Uh, so if you're someone that does not want that and you want to turn it off immediately, uh, you want to go into Settings. Scroll down until we find Apple Intelligence and Siri right here. Go into that. And from here, you're going to notice that the little AI or Apple Intelligence toggle is turned on. So in previous versions of iOS, uh, such as 18.2, 18.1, this was basically a choice. You could choose whether it was on or off. However, since 18.3, Apple turns it on by default, and you have to manually go in and turn it off yourself. And so if you're someone that doesn't know that, um, you'll have the AI features on by default, and you pretty much probably won't even know it. So anyway, you can just hit that, turn it off. It'll give you a warning asking, do you actually want to turn it off? We can say yes. And just like that, now the AI features are turned off and removed from the phone. So that's pretty good. It's good that they do give that option of turning it off, because if they didn't, it would be pretty bad. Anyway, so that is basically it uh, for this setup video on the iPhone 16e. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments regarding this, drop those down below, and we can have a little bit of a chat. So yeah, anyway, again, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.